Hello, viewers. Um, it's nice to be here again, reflecting from the Open Heaven Daily Devotional Guide written by Pastor E.A. E. Adeboye. My name is Edith George from RCCG Bethel's Court in Bexley Heath, Kent. Today, we'll be reflecting on a topic that comes by way of a question, a child or a dog. And our Bible passage is taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 15 verse 21 to 28, it reads, Then Jesus went out from there and departed to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came from that region and cried out to him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. My daughter is severely demon-possessed. But he answered her not a word, and his disciples came and hushed him, saying, Send her away, for she cries out after us. But he answered and said, I was not sent except to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then she came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the little dogs. And she said, Yes, Lord, yet even the little dogs eat the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered and said to her, O oh, woman, great is your faith. Let it be to you as you desire. And her daughter was healed from that very hour. Our memory verse is Matthew chapter 15, verse 26. But he answered and said, it is not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the little dogs. Her reflections. The message from the Open Heavens Daily Guide today must make anyone who is not a child of God to wake up and consider his state of life. The question is a very crucial one. Are you a child of God? Those who are members of God's kingdom are children of God. The Bible says that those who have accepted him have been given the power of sonship. And that's found in John chapter 1, verse 12. However, those that have refused him are outsiders to the kingdom. And they are described as sorcerers, warmongers, murderers, idolaters, and those who love to make a lie. Revelation 22, verse 15 tells us that. Miracles and blessings are for the children of God. If you are sure that you are a child of God, then you are entitled to, to miracles. The Bible tells us in Philippians chapter 3, verse 2, that we should be careful of evildoers. It shows that they are dangerous set of people. Why don't you accept Jesus Christ today as your Lord and Savior and receive the power of sonship? Brethren, why don't you examine yourself? Find out if you are true, a, truly a child of God. If you are, cry to your Father for that miracle that you urgently need. If you are not a child of God, you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, I counsel you today to give your life to Him, to accept Him as your Lord and Savior, to give Him all your cares and your worries. For without Christ, life is full of crises. As I come your way again, I want you to please to examine your life and see how you can find peace by giving your life to Christ. For those who are already believers, I encourage you to seek the miracles that is rightly yours by virtue of the sonship that you have in Christ Jesus. God bless you.